Welcome back to Real Life Reviews and in this video we're taking a look at the Physique Transero Hydra Aeroweave Carbon, the successor to their first, Physique's first, high-end triathlon shoe, the Physique Transero R1. And we're going to look at what's different and what's made an outstanding cycling shoe but slightly flawed triathlon shoe into what is potentially the best top-end, high-end triathlon shoe that there is at the moment. The most notable change between the two is the fastening system. This, as you can see, is a Velcro and the R1 was a BOA. It really was just the take on the R1 road shoe and I have to be fair, this is an outstanding shoe and it is basically my, my go-to road shoe. But transitions, speedy transitions, and I said in the review I did on that, that shoe a while ago, I was getting used to it, but it's still, it's never become as quick and easy, as simple as having a Velcro strap. So the first thing is simply the change of the mechanism. In addition to that, it is a single strap Velcro. It doesn't have a second strap lower down that either you've got two to fiddle with or as most people tend to do, they do the bottom one up as they need it and just work with the upper one. So first of all, it's simplified. It's a single strap. The point about the strap, or the really good point about the strap, is that it goes from, it goes all the way around. It goes from the base, from the sole here, over the top, and if I turn the shoe round, it goes all the way back down. That means that you're getting, when you tighten it, you're getting a full pull on the shoe. And in particular, on the instep here, you're actually getting that tightening up and getting much more foot support and arch support just by doing it. You've also got the basic features that you'd expect from a high-end strap. The first is you've got two notches on the strap itself. You've got a larger one here, which stops you undoing it too far, and you've got to move across a smaller one which holds the strap in place for you. So if I open the shoe up, I pull the smaller one past the notch, and my shoe is held open for you to slide your foot in on the pedals. A neat little addition to this is that on the end of the strap, we have little markings and the way the strap is set and fixed means that we can cut and shorten this strap so that if you have a particularly narrow foot when you do the shoe up you're not going to get catching on the crank or the drive chain or anything. So a really effective and well thought out closing, opening and closing system. Moving to the upper, we, we have an extremely breathable woven upper and the AeroWeave uh, fabric um, is, it interlaces nylon fibres with filaments of, of thermoplastic polymers uh, and the, the end result is that not only is it very breathable but it is a little bit lighter than the upper on the R1 and it is a very light shoe, a little bit more about the weight in a moment. The upper though is also, as a result of this manufacture, this second generation as uh, Physique call it, of the, of the weave, the result is that it's even softer, which is a major plus for those of you who are going to be doing some racing with no socks on. Moving down to the sole of this shoe, it, clearly it's carbon, it's incredibly stiff, it's a rating of 10 on Physique's uh, range of stiffness which makes it the most responsive uh, within the uh, Physique range. It's got a nice really wide vent now on the front of the shoe. I'll just pick up my pen and you can see it a bit better in here. Those of you that remember the Transero R1 will be aware or might remember that it had three little vents in the base of the, the shoe, the sole. This is more efficient. It's never going to be a shoe that you're going to want to wear winter riding on a training ride, but it is great ventilation for triathlon, and that's what this is, it's a triathlon shoe. We also have 
Behind the cleats, we have the exhaust vent there. Just tip it so you can see, and it works really well. So great airflow in, pushed out, exactly what we want. Um, the other thing about the sole is the cleat position. It's set back a bit more, which caters for that the, um, the trend at the moment, which is to have a more aggressive cleat position for when you're pedaling. Many of you will already be aware that with this trend, with the change in position of the cleats, it particularly suits the, the aero position and reduces compression in the knee. So hopefully reducing pain, knee pain, and potential injury that might be occurring there. I touched on weight earlier and Physique claimed that this shoe weighs 225 grams. Well, clearly depending on the size, it might be slightly less, it might be slightly more, and I, everything I've read just gives the weight and not a size. This is a size eight, uh, UK eight, European Euro 42, and I've got a look cleat on, and this shoe weighs 262 grams with the cleat included. So I think that's a pretty fair call. Um, it's a really good lightweight shoe. So have Physique hit the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Not quite, not in my opinion. It's a brilliant shoe and it's my go-to race shoe without a shadow of a doubt. But the heel loop. It's a lovely angle and typically Italian, it's very aesthetic. It, it fits the shoe, it, it goes with the shape of the shoe, it's lovely. Uh, if you remember the Transiro R1, it had a straight loop and the straight loop was brilliant. You lean down, put your finger in and pull it on, it works. The angled loop, in theory, can work much better. In that, here's the shoe. And the top, to get your finger in from the top, so imagine you're on the bike, you would want to enter the loop leaning down the bike from on top. It's best, this is my right shoe, my left hand slots into there really easily. If I turn the shoe here and use my right hand, I've got to come across to get my finger in and pull the shoe on. Or I come round behind so I've got to lean and come right behind it and from underneath and pull the shoe on. It, it just strikes me that the loop is the wrong way round for the most efficient putting on, pulling on of this shoe. Minuscule, tiny, tiny issue. Um, there we are, that's my one little criticism. The physique. Transero, Hydra, Aeroweave, Carbon. I think it's probably, I think it is the best high-end triathlon shoe out there. Lightweight, breathable upper, single strap uh, fixing, providing really good foot support. All the features you'd want, it's an out-to-in close, it's got notches to hold it open so it doesn't close on you when you don't want it to, when you're getting it on. It does have a heel loop that is effective, stiff carbon sole, aggressive cleat position, and quite frankly, it's basically everything that you would want. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, give it that thumbs up, and share it with your friends. Loads of the kit that we review on this channel can be sold through Wiggle, and there's a link in the description down below that takes you straight there. Uh, you pay no more, uh, you often get some great deals, but the big advantage for us is that we get a tiny proportion of what you spend and it helps keep the channel going. If you want to see some more videos, then we've got the Transiro R1 and the Shimano's TR9 in the two top corners. If you haven't yet subscribed, well, please click on the round picture down there. And a bit of difference, we've got a running shoe, the New Balance Fuel Cell, just down there. Many thanks for watching.